The drive between St. Petersburg and Brandon just got a lot easier. The long-awaited Selman Expressway extension is open. Fox 13's Lloyd Sowers got one of the first rides on the new span of the highway. Tell us what it was like, Lloyd. It was very interesting to get up there, uh, Linda, and finally see this. As you can see, there is some traffic there on the top of the Selman extension and traffic on the bottom here. Interesting to get up there because we have been reporting on this for 25 years and there has been controversy. But tonight, drivers are finally moving nonstop between Brandon and St. Pete. The ribbon cutting for the long awaited Selman Expressway extension. The 1.9 mile bridge was the missing link that now carries commuters above crowded Gandhi Boulevard below. It is going to be incredibly functional. And to that end, it will be a great relief to everyone that lives in this community. The $230 million project was fought over for more than 20 years. We tried this a couple times, but the, the community wasn't ready for it, and we listened. Could businesses on Gandhi under the extension survive? Uh, and, and this time, we embraced the community, the community embraced us. At 30 feet, it was elevated higher for better sight lines, and taking 40% of the traffic off Gandhi Boulevard could help the neighbors. I'm only hoping that people will actually use the overhead. That's, that's the hope here because, um, yeah, it'd be kind of nice to get our old Gandhi back. I got to take one of the first spins on the extension. How long did we watch this thing being built since about 2018? We are getting set to get on it right now. So on a rainy Monday, we get a look at the thin back design that sets it apart. A view from the top of the new addition to the Leroy Selman Expressway. He would be proud, says his widow. And I'm sure that he would also say it's not so much about him today. It's about this wonderful extension that's going to be a great asset to this community. So to get a ride on the extension, it will cost you an extra 95 cents on the Sun Pass or $1.31 if you pay by tag. And Linda, they say that it could save the commuter 15 minutes in that trip between Brandon and St. Pete. And in the rush hour, that's a big 15 minutes when you're headed home. <laughs> it is. A lot of people will think it's worth that extra money. Thank you, Lloyd.